Now we're going to talk about tags in post, okay? So let's look at uh, the, the tag area here. Now, the important thing with tags is you keep them simple. If you think that uh, what tags do for a start is um, every, post, every article create, every tag that you add to it also creates a tag page for that. So if I had four tags, I would actually create five pages in Google. The page for the, of the post URL plus the, the URL for each of the tags. Okay, But you, you only get bonuses when the tags relate to the content in the post. And I've got a set rule, for, and I think all clients should follow this. Tags should either be product names, place names, people names, company names, and that's it. Okay? Really, nothing else should be, uh, should be in there. Um, if, you're, if you're writing a post about a recipe, you could, you could put the recipe name. But it has to be super relevant. And really, you should have no more than five tags per post. But if you set some rules up, and these are the rules you should follow, um, is capitalise each word. So South Beach is one. Okay, um, you can all. I can put Miami, Miami Beach, and you separate each one by a comma. Notice the capitals in each one, and there we go. I've created three tags for that post. Okay. Okay, so. Um, the, that's, that's how you should manage your, your, your tags. So keep it to product names, company names, people names, place names, um, or very descriptive names, and set a rule that these are the only top, types of things you're going to add as, um, as tags. I mean, if you're a doctor or something like that, you might have different tags for different medical conditions and things like that. That's all fine. But stick to the rules of capitalising the first and second word, because otherwise it starts looking messy with all your tags and you can have tags on the widget area of your site and if it looks messy it's horrible and it's really tough to go back and fix them all later on. Okay, So that's tags with WordPress.